right, beautiful. Thank you for joining me for a 60 minute yoga class. Uh, my name is Holly. I use she, her pronouns. We're going to start with a few rounds of sun salutes to warm up our body. And then we will hop into 26 and two yoga, 26 postures and two breathing exercises. If at any point in class, something does not feel right for your body, remember that you can modify a posture, you can do something else, or you can skip it entirely. Yoga can be challenging at times, but you're never going to a point of pain or a point where you know you won't feel good after class. For the sun salutes, you'll come towards the top of your mat with your feet close together, arms down by your side. I'm going to stand back a bit and show you in prayer group. You can bring your hands together at heart center, and we'll begin with three rams of Surya Namaskar, a sun salute, saluting Surya, the god of sun. As you inhale, lift your arms up overhead, look up as if you're saluting or greeting the sun. Hello, sun. Exhale through your nose, bend your knees, fold forward, hands to floor, relax your head. Inhale through your nose, look forward and lengthen into a halfway lift. Exhale, bend your knees, put your hands on the floor, shoulder width distance, and step back into a plank or tabletop position. On your next exhale, hug your elbows all the way into your ribs and pull yourself down, hover above the floor. Inhale, push up into a back bend. You can do cobra with elbows bent and thighs on the floor, or up dog with arms straight and thighs off the floor. Exhale, tuck your toes under, lift your hips up for down dog. You can bend one knee, straighten the other, pedal out your legs, and then press your heels to the floor, hips to the ceiling. Drop your head, look for your thighs behind you. If down dog is not speaking to you, you can also come onto your knees and take a child's pose instead. It's very grounding. Sink your hips down as you reach your arms forward. Always feels good at the top of class. On your next inhale, hands to the floor, look forward, step forward, lengthen into your halfway lift. Exhale as you fold, relax your head. Inhale, chin away from your chest, arms from your ears, hands together, root to rise, lift up, look up. Exhale, hands down. Two more. Inhale, lift your arms, look up. Exhale, biceps with ears fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, step back, high plank, keep exhaling, lower down. Inhale into your up dog or cobra. Keep your shoulders out of your ears. Exhale, tuck your toes under, lift your hips up for down dog, or sink your hips down for child's pose. Either way, make your arms long, spread your fingers wide, root down through all 28 knuckles, and the space between your index finger and thumb so that you're not putting all of your body weight and your wrists in down dog. Inhale, look forward, step forward, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, arms with your ears lift up with a flat back. Exhale, hands down. Last one, inhale, lift. Exhale, fold, connect to the breath. Inhale, lengthen, shoulders out of ears. Exhale, step back, high plank, keep exhaling, lower down. Inhale into your up dog or cobra. Exhale your down dog or child's pose. If you're doing child's pose, move your hips back to your heels. If you're doing down dog, try to get your heels to the floor. And if your heels don't touch the floor, you can open your feet a little wider apart um, so that your feet are wider than hip width distance. That can take, uh, that can help you get the heels down. And if you have tight hamstrings, you can also micro bend your knees to take weight away from the backs of the legs. Otherwise, press your thighs back, heels down, hips up, push the floor away from you, making a V shape with your body. Body. Inhale, look forward, step forward, lengthen, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, arms of your ears, root to rise, lift up, salute the sun. Exhale, hands down. Beautiful. That's our little warm up. We will now hop into 26 and 2 yoga, starting with two short sets of pranayama standing deep breathing. Bring your feet together, toes, heels touching nicely. Interlock your ten fingers, cross your thumbs, glue your knuckles underneath your chin feet and legs together. Rock the weight into your heels. Relax your shoulders down away from your ears. You made it to class. Concentrate, meditate, and begin. Inhale, chin down and arms up. Breathe in through your nose. Lift your elbows up. Suck your stomach in. Fill up your lungs. Exhale, head up. Exhale through your mouth. Slowly push your head back. Reach your arms forward. Keep exhaling. Elbows touch. Inhale, elbows out and arms up. Slowly bring your chin down, look straight ahead, lift your elbows all the way up, breathe deep, full lungs. Exhale, head up, slowly push your head back, look way, way, way back for the wall behind you, elbows touch, pointing to the wall in front of you. Inhale, head down, breathe in through your nose, down through your throat to the very bottom of your lungs. Exhale, head up as you exhale, 
open your mouth wide like you're fogging up a mirror on the ceiling, arms forward, elbows touch. Inhale, head down, keep the weight in your heels, contract your quadricep muscles, gluteal muscles, suck your stomach in. Exhale, head up. Even as you exhale, keep the abdominal wall engaged. Lock your legs. Look back, arms forward, elbows touch. Inhale, head down. Every new inhale, you want to take in more air than the last breath to expand your lung capacity. Exhale, head up. The more you exhale here, the more fresh oxygen you can take in on your next breath. Push the air out. Inhale, head down. This is the last breath in the first set. Deepest breath so far. Spine a little longer, elbows a little higher, lungs a little fuller. Suck your stomach in, breathe deep, full lungs. Exhale, head up. Take your time. Eyes open, hips forward, legs lock, stomach in. Keep exhaling, push, squeeze, elbows touch. Change, arms down, you can roll out your shoulders and head. Second set, feet together, interlock your fingers, switch the grip, other thumb, pinky finger on top, bring your knuckles underneath your chin like glue. Squeeze your thighs, squeeze your butt, stomach in, grow taller out of the base of your spine, and begin, inhale, chin down and arms up, breathe in through your nose, lift your elbows up, suck your stomach in, fill up your lungs. Exhale, head up, exhale through your mouth, slowly push your head back, Reach your arms forward, keep exhaling, elbows touch. Inhale, head down for one, two, three, four, five, six, full lungs. Exhale, head up, six, five, four, three, two, elbows touch, one. Inhale, head down, use the full six seconds to inhale, take in more and more and more air. Exhale, head up, use the full six seconds to exhale. Synchronize your breath with your body movements, elbows touch when your lungs are empty. Inhale, so you're inhaling at the same rate you're moving your body, chin down, lift your elbows a little bit higher, look straight ahead. Exhale, head up, take your time, use your knuckles to push your head back. Squeeze your palms, wrists, forearms, and elbows together. Inhale, head down, so we're working on lung capacity and breath control, you're learning to breathe slower, longer, deeper. Exhale, head up. You're also working on neck and shoulder mobility. Just the head drops back. No backward bending. Keep shoulders over hips, hips over heels, weight in the heels. Inhale, head down. Last breath in the second set. Deepest breath of your life when your lungs are totally full. Surprise yourself. Take in one more sip of air. Exhale, head up. Take your time. Let everything go through the exhale breath. Any worries? Any cares, let them go. Be here now. Elbows touch. Change. Arms down. From here on out, we'll try to find a little bit of stillness between every set of every posture. Ardha Chandrasana with Padasasana, half moon with hands to feet pose. Feet together, legs together. Inhale, arms overhead, sideways, palms together. Interlock your fingers. Release your index fingers. Cross your thumbs. Nice, tight, white knuckle grip. Stretch up out of your waist and bend right and left, right and left. Every time you pass through the middle, stretch up a little taller. Great. And when you can't stretch anymore, come to stop in the middle. Bring the weight into your heels. Press your hips a little forward. Squeeze your palms together. Head and arms back. Touch your biceps to your ears. Suck your stomach in. Inhale, breathing. Stretch up out of your waist. Try to touch the ceiling. Exhale, breathing. Absolutely straight line. Slowly bend your body to the right. Good. Without bending your elbows, without bending your knees, continuously push your hips to your left beyond your flexibility. You're trying to create a tremendous stretching feeling in the left side of your body. Just remember that in this style of yoga it is always form and alignment before depth. Keep the weight in your heels, press your hips a little forward, upper body back, touch your biceps to your ears. Push your left hip a little forward to get your two hips in line. Now bring your right shoulder forward, open your chest like a flower petal blooming. Option to stay here or get a little deeper at the end. Come down, push, push, push change. Inhale to come up, stop in the middle. Press your heels down, pull your abdomen in, keep your palms together, wrists straight. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, slowly bend to the left, press your hips to the right, breathe in and out through your nose. If at any point in class you can't breathe, you're holding your breath or you have to breathe through your mouth, it's an invitation to do a little bit less. We want to flood the body with oxygen the whole time. Now there's certain back bends um, where you might not be able to do like deep belly breaths and that's okay, but we're never holding our breath or depriving the body of air. Move your right hip a little forward, left shoulder a little forward, come down, push, push, push change. Inhale to come up. First back bend of the sequence. This is the only posture I can't show until at the same time. Take a deep breath. 
full lungs. Keep your eyes open, relax your head back as far as it goes. You can give your head a gentle shake, look for the floor behind you, squeeze your butt, lift your chest, and immediately bring your arms back with your ears, try to touch the wall behind you. This is an example of a posture where you can do little sips of air in and out through the nose off of that initial big breath. So whole spine back bending, whole front of the body stretching, keep the weight in your heels, lock your legs, inhale breathing, push stomach, thighs, hips, everything forward. Now bring your arms back, look back, fall back, way back, go back, more back, change, inhale to come up, big stretch up, decompress the spine, stomach in, exhale, bend your knees, hold. You want to go in and out of this posture, arms with the ears, hands to floor, relax your head, go for a walk, move your hips, shake your head. This is a U-turn from back bending to forward folding. Try to keep your heels on the floor. At the beginning of class, spine might not be quite warmed up yet. Move your hips to get lower back, nice, relaxed, comfortable, easy, flexible. Padastasana, hands to feet pose, bend your knees halfway. You can grab the backs of your calves, your Achilles, or your heels from underneath, step on all 10 fingers. Pull on your heels, roll your weight into your toes, and lift your hips up. Stretch your upper body down from the lower spine to the floor. Pulling is the object of stretching. You're trying to create a tremendous stretching feeling on the back of your body, all over, inside out, bones to skin, fingers to toes, with a smiling, happy face. Roll forward a little bit more, lift your hips up, stretch your spine down, find your edge. Change, arms with ears, hands together, chin away from your chest, lift up with a flat back. Good, arms down. Maybe stand a little taller, hold still. Second set, feet together, arms up, palms together, switch the grip. Other thumb, pinky finger on top, interlock fingers, release index fingers, cross thumbs, hips forward, arms back, core tight, inhale, stretch up. Exhale, slowly drop to the right, press your hips to the left. Maybe going a little bit deeper in the second set. You certainly wanna use what you learned in the first set to inform the second set. Press your hips to the left, stretch your upper body to the right, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, come down, push and push and push. Change, inhale to come up, stop in the middle. Hips forward, arms back, big stretch up. Slowly drop to the left, press your hips to the right. Throughout the posture, imagine you could lean against a wall behind you. Weight in the heels, hips forward, arms back with your ears. Push your right hip a little forward to get your two hips in line. Now bring your left shoulder forward, open your chest like a flower petal blooming. Come down, push and push and push. Change, inhale to come up, second heart opener. Keep your eyes open, relax your head back as far as it goes. Squeeze your glutes, lift your chest and bring your arms back with your ears. If you can see your hands, notice if they're coming apart, if your wrists are bending, squeeze your palms together, wrists straight, weight in the heels, contract quads and glutes, push your hips forward, lift your chest up and bring your arms back. Push your hands away from your face, arms back, look back, fall back, way back, go back, more back change. Big stretch up. Exhale, fold. Going in and out of the posture with a flat back. Hands to floor. Drop your head. Go for another walk. Move your hips. Shake your head. And second set, Panasasana. Bend your knees. You can grab the backs of your legs or your heels from underneath. Pull on your heels. Roll your weight into your toes and lift your hips up. Remember that knees can stay bent, especially if you're tight. Touch stomach to thighs, chest to knees. Face to the shins below the knees, wrap your elbows back behind you, try to touch your elbows together behind you, pull on your heels, roll your weight into your toes, push the big toes down, lift your hips up, push your knees back, try to lock your knees. Change, come on up, hands together, arms with ears, coming out with a flat back, little scoop in your chest, very nice, arms down, hold still, breathe. Awkward Ukutasana, step your right foot to the right about six inches, hip width distance, not too big of a step, insides of your feet perfectly parallel like 11s, arms up parallel to the floor, tricep muscles tight, all five fingers together, fingers in line with your collarbones, reach your arms forward, pull your abdomen in, bend your knees, sit back and down into a chair, feet flat, spine straight, weight on your heels, sit down, halfway only, hips into a chair, suck your stomach in and lean your upper body back, lift your chin up, chest up, lean back, fall back, lay back, change, come on up, keep your arms there parallel to the floor, press your hips forward, lift your heels, stretch up, concentrate and meditate, bend your knees, sit down and lean back, can help with balance to focus on one unmoving spot in front of you, do notice if your knees are going way in or way out, keep the knees hip width distance, sit down, change. Come on up. Last part, keep your arms there. Shoulders soft, triceps working. Squeeze your knees together. Let your heels come a little off the floor and slowly sit down. Take your time. Knees together, heels off the floor. Listen to your body. Squeeze the knees together and forward. Lift the chest. Drop the shoulders. Lengthen the spine. 
change. Squeeze your knees together as you lift up. Good, heels down, right foot back, arm shoulders down, take a breath. Second set, step your right foot to the right, hip width distance inside to your feet, parallel, arms up, parallel to the floor, tricep muscles tight, reach your arms forward, pull your abdomen in, <laughs> bend your knees, sit back and down. So you can stick your butt out and fold forward to get your thighs parallel to the floor, inside to your feet parallel, keep your neck long, chest proud, lift the upper body off of the lower body, lift your chin up, chest up change. Come on up. Keep your arms there rather than sticking your butt out. Tuck your tailbone under. Concentrate. Meditate. Lift your heels. Stretch up. Sit down. So we're working on a little bit of a toe stretch here. Lots of strength, right? You're strengthening your arms, your core, your legs. Heels a little higher. Knees a little higher. Sit down into a chair, but don't sit below chair level. Change. Last part. Come on up. Still breathing. Squeeze your knees together like you have a winning lottery ticket in between your knees. Don't drop the ticket. Let your heels come a little off the floor and slowly sit down. Imagine you're sliding your back down a wet marble wall, knees together. You can stop whenever you want or sit all the way down. Lift the chest, drop the shoulders, keep your neck in line with the rest of your spine. Change, slowly come up, knees together, use inner thigh strength to lift. Good, heels down, right foot back, arms down. Eagle pose, Garudasana, we're gonna do the right side first. Keep in mind, I'm not mirroring you. Inhale your arms over your head, big stretch up. Exhale, swing right arm under left arm, right elbow under left elbow, lots of options. You can have hands in prayer. You can interlace fingers, you can grab a thumb, or you can grab your shoulders, pull your elbows down. Bend your knees, sit back and down, hips into a chair, stay down there. Lean back and bring your right leg over your left leg as high as possible. Good. Right leg over left leg. Cross your legs. Twist like ropes. Eventually wrap your right foot behind your left calf muscle. If your foot is coming out, sit down more. If you're losing your balance, arch your upper body back. Bring your knees to the right, upper body to the left. Twist like ropes. Sit down, upper body back at the end. Change. Feet together, arms up. We'll do the left side. Swing left arm under right arm. Left arm under right arm. Palms together, thumbs towards your nose. Pinkies away from your face from there's lots of variations. Pull your elbows down, bend your knees, sit down, lean back and bring left leg <laughs> over right leg. Sometimes you fall out, that's okay. If you fall out of a posture, just hop back in. Left leg over right leg, cross twist, squeeze and breathe. In and out to your nose. Bring your knees a little to the left, upper body to the right, elbows over knees. Shift the weight back into your heel. To sit down, you can stick your butt out and fold forward and then lean your upper body back. Good, change, feet together, arms up, right in the second set. Swing right arm, under left arm, bicep under tricep, pull your elbows down, bend your knees, sit down, lean back, and bring right leg over left leg. Hamstring over quadricep. If your foot is wrapping, try to eliminate the gap between right ankle and left calf muscle. If your hands are in prayer, try to get the wrist straight, palms together, maybe even fingertips active, fingertips in line. Push the top leg into the bottom leg. Again, to sit down, you can stick your butt out, fold forward, and then lean your upper body back. Change. Feet together, arms up. Last one. Here we go. Left arm under right arm. Pull your elbows down. Suck your stomach in. Bend your knees. Sit down. Lean back and bring left leg over right leg. Um, the left side might feel different from the right side. Second set might feel different from first set. Today's class might feel different from yesterday's. These are all good signs that you are alive, right? You're not in a computer simulation. This is real life. You're connecting to your breath, connecting to your body. Sit a little lower, breathe a little slower, upper body back at the end. Change, feet together, arms up, arms down. Party time, you can grab a sip of water if you want. My water is away. Here it is, cheers. <laughs> okay, so fall out five times, hop back in five times, right? Always finish on one leg in the balancing series. Standing head to knee, Dande Mana Johnny Shrasna, shift your weight to your left leg, lock your left leg. Lift your right leg up, flex your toes back. Option to stay here, or round down and pick up your right foot. All 10 fingers interlocked, webbing to webbing grip. Lock your left leg, no bend, no wobble. Inhale, slowly, gently lift your right leg up. Go slow, take a breath, kick your heel forward, flex your toes back, you're training your Achilles to stretch. It can be tempting to rush through postures, but we actually end up using more like inertia and gravity and less strength and balance. When we go slow, that's when we know that we're really in control, really using our muscle groups. 
if both legs lock, then slowly bend your elbows down. Touch elbows to calf muscles one day. Elbows go below the calf muscles. Hold and breathe. Lock your knee. Lock your knee. Lock your knee. Change slowly. Arms straight. Bend the right leg. Right foot down. Shift your weight to your right foot. Evenly distribute your body weight on your right foot without grabbing the floor of your toes, without sinking back into your heel. Keep your big toe down. Stomach in. Lift your left leg up. Flex your toes back. Round down and pick up your left foot. From start to finish, standing legs should be solid, concrete, one piece, lamp post, unbroken, you have no knee. If you have a grip on your foot, you know your standing leg is locked, no bend, no wobble. You're welcome to stay here, or when you're ready, inhale slowly, gently lift your left leg up until it's exactly parallel to the floor. No higher, that's too easy. No lower, that can hurt your back, get your heel in line with your hip. From here, press your heel forward, flex your toes back. If both legs lock, lock your arms, puff up your chest, and then bend your elbows down. Roll your shoulders back and down. One day, elbows go below the calf muscle, heel forward, hip forward, toes back. Change, slowly reverse out. You can put your hands on your back, do a little back bend or a knee bend. Second set, shift your weight to your left leg, lock your left leg, lift your right leg up, toes back. Option to stay here or round down and pick up your foot. If you have a grip on your foot, then lift your right leg up, keep the grip the whole time. If both legs lock, keep the grip on your foot, bend elbows down. If elbows go below calf muscles, slowly tuck your chin to your chest, put your forehead on your knee, hold and breathe at your deepest point, concentrate and meditate. Slowly bring your head up, arms straight, bend the right leg, right foot down. Shift your weight to your right leg, lift your kneecap, contract your quadricep muscle, lift your left leg up, toes back, you can always stay here or round down, maybe an inch or two. Eventually pick up your foot. You are also welcome to start with your knee higher in your chest so that you don't round down, but you wanna keep the grip on the foot the whole time. Inhale, lift your left leg up. Kick your heel forward, flex your toes back, if both legs lock from the side legs, make an L like Linda, then bend elbows down. If elbows go below calf muscles, then tuck chin to chest. Put your forehead on your knee. Lock your knee. Lock your knee. Lock your knee. Whenever you're ready, slowly reverse out. Good for you. <laughs> okay. That was a forward curl. Next, we do a back bend, standing bow pulling pose. Dande Mana Dhanurasana. I will show you from an angle. Bring your right hand up, elbow touches the body, palm faces the ceiling. Bring your hand out to the right. Give yourself a high five for practicing yoga today. Yes, so your shoulders opening out. Reach back without turning or twisting your wrist. Pick up the inside of your right foot at the ankle bone. You're also welcome to grab the outside of your foot and eventually just walk your hand around. Bring your left arm up and back with your ear knees together to start. Option to stay here, or when you're ready, you lock your left leg, point your right toes, lift your chin, take a breath, stretch up, and slowly charge your body forward. Simultaneously kick your right leg back and up. Take your time. At first, find a place where you can balance, breathe, and back bend. If you've got the balance, start to come down parallel to the floor and kick up. The harder you kick, you can balance forever. Bring the body down more, leg up more, charge your body forward, start to kick up to the ceiling, kick, kick, kick. Change slowly, kick yourself up, feet together, arms down. Bring your left hand up, out to the left, like you're serving a tray. Reach back without turning or twisting your shoulder, pick up the inside of your left foot at the ankle. Bring your right arm up. Notice if one hip is way higher than the other. Try to get your hips in line, maybe even knees together. Lock your right leg, point your left toes. Lift your chin, stretch up, and slowly kick into your hand. Simultaneously, charge your body forward. Kicking and stretching should be equal. Simultaneous, 50-50. The harder you kick, you can balance forever. Kick really hard. Slowly bring the body down and the leg up. See the foot coming over the top of your head, from the side, two heels in line, keep the back bend, kick back and up, let the left shoulder relax behind the right shoulder, two shoulders in line, body down a little bit more, 
leg up a little bit more, reach forward, kick back harder. Change, slowly kick up, feet together, arms down, take a breath. Hold still, hardest part. Second set, bring your right hand up, out to the right, reach back, pick up the inside of your right foot at the ankle, left arm up, knees together. Lift your left kneecap, point your right toes, lift your shoulder and chin, stretch up, and slowly kick, stretch, breathe. Kick into your hand, stretch forward, breathe through your nose. Maybe going a little deeper in the second set, maybe not. If you always fall out of this posture, go slower, do less. If you always stay in this posture, go harder, do more. Bring the body down to parallel, big toe to the ceiling, charge your body forward, kick and kick and kick. Change, kick yourself up. All right, last one, left hand up, out to the left. So the shoulder is opening, right? Reach back, kick up the inside of your left foot, right arm up, knees together, lock your right leg, point your left toes, lift your chin, stretch up, and slowly kick, stretch, breathe. You're kicking in two directions, you're kicking back and you're kicking up. Kick from your glute, kick from your hamstring, kick from your calf, continuously keep kicking without stopping out intermission. Body down more, leg up to the ceiling, reach forward when they shoulder and chin touch, body down more, leg up more, kick, and kick, and kick. Change, come on up. Okay, come to the back of your mat, tool and asana, balancing stick. Feet together, arms up, palms together, interlock fingers, release index fingers, cross thumbs, lean back, stretch up, step your right foot forward, shift your weight to your right foot, stretch, and when you're ready, come down, arms, body, head, legs, everything parallel to the floor from the side. Body makes a T like Tom, not a broken umbrella, stretch, 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 change, left foot down, right foot back, lean back, stomach in, stretch up, step your left foot forward, lock both legs, stretch, and tilt, eventually come down all the way parallel to the floor, charge your body forward, try to touch the wall in front of you, shoulder blade, scapula, stretching away from the body, keep your arms with your ears, change slowly, right foot down, left foot back, float your arms down, hold still, take a breath. Second set, arms up, palms together, switch the grip, interlock fingers, release index fingers, cross thumbs, lean back, stretch up, step your right foot forward, lock both legs, stretch and tilt. So think like a tug of war here and you're the rope, you're reaching forward and stretching back, left hip down, two hips in line, body down, leg up. Change, left foot down, right foot back. Last one, lean back, stretch up, step your left foot forward, lock both legs, stretch and tilt. Come down without letting the right hip lift. Drop your right hip down. Spiral your inner right thigh up. Right foot a little to the right. Two hips in line, body down. Leg up, stretch. Change slowly, right foot down. Left foot back to the right, arms down. Enough balancing. Come to the top of your mat. You're welcome to face the long side of your mat for the next few postures. I will face you. We are going to flow the separate leg series beginning with stretching, Hashimotanasana. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, step your right foot to the right, nice big step, arms down parallel to the floor, lock your legs. You can turn your toes in or point your toes forward, lock your legs, lift your chest, go down. So quadricep muscles are contracting, kneecaps lifting the whole time. Couple options, you can put your hands on the floor, especially if the knees are bending, lean into your arms, lift your hips, push your knees back, lock your knees, and also grab the outsides of your feet or even your heels from behind. Pull on your heels, roll your weight into your toes, lift your hips up, Push your knees back, lock your legs. Inhale through your nose. On the exhale, roll forward, pull, stretch, breathe. Bring your head to the floor in between your feet. Change. Slowly come up. We're going to flow to triangle trikonasana. Press your hips forward, lean your upper body back, turn your right foot out, left toes in, two heels in line. Inhale, bend your right knee and lunge. If your knee is going way beyond your ankle, you can take a bigger step. You want your knee directly over your ankle. Sit down low. Lean back and move your arms at the same time. Tilt your upper body to a 45 degree angle. So you're not collapsing all the way down, but you're also not staying all the way lifted, right? You wanna use your right obliques to um, get a nice diagonal line from ankle to crown of the head. Now look up to the ceiling, touch your chin to your shoulder. Let's work on shoulder mobility. Reach your left arm up, stretch your right arm 
arm down. Let's work on hip mobility. Push your left hip forward and down. Push your right knee back with the help of your elbow. Turn, twist upper body back, lock your left leg, left foot flat on the floor. Change, rotate your arms, straighten your right leg. Right toes in, left toes out. Make sure your heels are in line, not crisscross. Inhale, bend your left knee lunge. You can move your right hip forward towards your left knee if it helps you to sit down. Lean back and move your arms at the same time. Now, eventually as our hips start to open up, maybe you can get your left thigh parallel to the floor, in which case you could hover your fingertips between your big and second toe, but you're never touching the floor in this posture. You're always staying lifted. Look up to the ceiling, touch your chin to your shoulder, look for your right thumb, tricep muscles tight, reach your right arm up, stretch your left arm down, bend your left knee, sit down more, and then roll the right rib cage back, open your chest, Lock your right leg, right foot, flat on the floor. Change, rotate your arms, push the left heel into the floor to come up. Left toes in, take a little bit of a smaller step. Arms up, palms together, cross your thumbs, head to knee, Johnny Shrasana. Pick up your toes, pivot on your heels. Turn your back toes in. Push your left hip forward, 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 two hips in line. Big stretch up, tuck your chin to your chest, slowly go down. This is a compression posture. We are rounding our spine in order to compress and squeeze, strengthen, and tone our abdominal wall. Tuck your chin to your chest and bring your forehead and knee together. If your forehead and knee aren't touching, you can bend your front leg. You can always try taking a little bit of a bigger step. You might want to turn your back toes forward and in more. You can also really push the floor away from you. Tuck your chin to your chest, eventually forehead and knee touch, but you're never forcing your body. Push your forehead into your knee a couple times real quick. Lock both legs, hands together, change slowly and curl so that your head comes up last. Pivot on your heels to the other side of the room, uncross your heels, turn your back toes in, push your right hip forward. You want at least a yardstick between your feet. It's a big step. Press your right hip forward, stretch up, tuck your chin to your chest and go down, round, scoop, curl, tuck, concave, chin to chest, stomach in, can bend your front leg if you need to, touch your forehead and knee together. Stretch your fingertips beyond your big and second toe. Bring your weight into your front foot. That will help with balance and alignment. So actively press your left foot down. Left hip up, right hip forward, two hips in line. Push forehead into knee, lift your kneecaps. Lock your legs, hands together, change. Slowly uncurl, press the right hip forward, right shoulder forward, full stop at the top. Pivot on your heels, right foot back. Float your arms down with control, take a breath. I'll show you second set of the separate leg sequence from the side. Inhale, arms up, stretching pose. Exhale, step your right foot to the right, three, four, maybe even five feet. Turn your toes in, heels out, lock your legs, lift your chest and go down. Lots of options, right? If your knees are bending, start with your hands on the floor in front of you. Walk your hands forward, lean forward, lift your hips up, push your knees back, lock your knees. You can grab the outsides of your feet or your heels from behind. So even if you're a short person, which I've met all of you in person, none of you are short, but even a short person would be using the majority of their mat in these postures, right? In this posture and the next two, you want at least three feet between your feet. For most of us, even wider. Everybody roll forward, lift your hips up, push your knees back, pull and stretch and breathe. One day head touches the floor in between your feet. Then change, slowly come up. Press your hips forward, lean back, turn your right foot out, left toes in. You might want to take an even wider step for triangle. Bend your right knee and lunge. Press your hips forward, lean back, and move your arms again, tilting your upper body to a 45 degree angle so there's a diagonal line from your ankle to crown of head. Look up, stretch up, triceps tight, reach your left arm up, stretch your right arm down. If you feel like your feet are sliding apart or you're losing control of your left straight leg, imagine you're gonna squeeze your heels together, feet stay in place, but this is the inner thigh strength we want to engage. We're both opening the hips and strengthening the inner thighs at the same time, change. Move your arms, straighten your right leg, right toes in, left toes out, two heels in line, bend your left knee and lunge. Notice if your knee's going to the right of your ankle, you want your knee directly over your ankle. Sit down, lean back, and move your arms. Imagine you could lean against a wall behind you, so you also might notice if you're sticking your butt out and folding forward, press the hips forward, engage your core, look up and stretch up. So you're simultaneously opening the hips and strengthening the inner thighs. You're simultaneously opening the shoulders and strengthening the core and arms. Reach your right arm up, stretch Stretch your left arm down, sit down more, chest up more, stomach in, turn, twist upper body back, 
lock your right leg, keep your right foot flat on the floor. Change, move your arms, straighten your left leg, left toes in, maybe a little bit of a smaller step again, head to knee, draw your Shirasana, arms up, palms together, cross your thumbs, pick up your toes, pivot on your heels to one side of the room or the back of your mat, Turn your back toes in, squeeze your left butt cheek, push your left hip forward, 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 stretch up, chin to chest, go down. Can you look at your belly button all the way down? You can't see your front foot all the way down. So keep the back heel on the floor, but you can bend your front leg to touch your knee and head together. Now notice if one hip is way higher than the other, right? You wanna even out the hips. Pull the abdomen in, tuck the chin to the chest. If it's easy to touch your forehead to your knee, keep going, try to touch your forehead to your thigh. Uh, the sky is the limit, what the mind can perceive, the body can achieve. Push your forehead into your knee, lock both legs, hands together, change biceps of the ears, left hip forward, left shoulder forward, full stop at the top. Pick up your heel, pick up your toes, I should say, pivot on your heels. So my heels get crisscross in transition. If yours do as well, uncross your heels. Turn your back toes in, move your right hip forward until your hips and your armpits are facing forward. Stretch up, tuck your chin to your chest, go down, take your time. So when we go slow, we actually use more strength rather than gravity and inertia. Chin to chest, stomach in, forehead to knee. There are some things in life that we show proficiency through by going fast. A good example would be a Rubik's cube, right? The faster you can solve a Rubik's cube, the better you are at solving the equation. Yoga is kind of the opposite. The slower you can move through the postures, the more strength, balance, and control you have. Push your forehead into your knee, lock both legs, hands together, change. Imagine you're dragging your forehead up your thigh or chest, core tight, biceps with ears, head up last. Very nice, pivot on your heels, right foot back, arms down. Come to the middle of your mat for a tree pose. Tadasana, shift your weight to your left leg, lock your left leg, and lift your right leg up. Maybe at first your ankles on your shin, your knee, your thigh. Eventually hold on to your foot from underneath, heel to costume. You can hold on to your right knee, or one day let it drop into a half lotus shape. Never force your knees. Right hand up to the center of your chest, and if you can balance, left hand. Press palms together, feel biceps engage. Option to stay here or keep your left leg straight, fold forward, toe stand hands to floor. Option to stay here or walk your hands forward, lean forward, lift your left heel off the floor. Once the weight is in your arms, bend your left knee, sit down. Walk your hands back. Whether you're in tree or toe, point your right toes, stretch the crown of your head up. Left hand to the center of your chest, right hand, elbows down, spine straight, come a half inch off your heel. <laughs> when you're ready, hands to floor. So when I fall, I always still like to just do a little clap Okay. hands to floor, you can come up on two feet or lift your hips up to straighten your standing leg and then press your hips forward to reverse out. Change right leg down. I find that if I think about falling, I tend to fall, but if I think about staying in the posture, I tend to stay in the posture. So I encourage you in yoga and in life to think about the best case scenario rather than the worst case scenario. Lock your right leg, lift your left leg up, heel to costume, let your left knee drop. That being said, it is really fun to fall out of that posture. I smile every time. You can bring one or both hands together, look towards the floor, concentrate and meditate. Option to stay here or fold forward. Maybe at first hands dangling, one day fingertips touch the floor, walk your hands forward, lean forward, lift your heel, bend your knees, sit down. Walk your hands back, stretch your spine up, point your left toes. Left hand up to the center of your chest. Right hand, spine straight, come a half inch off your heel. When you're ready, hands to floor, you can come up on two feet or push your hands into the floor, lift your hips up, straighten your standing leg, heel back down, change, slowly reverse out. Good for you. Change, left leg down, honor yourself, give yourself high five, fist bump, turn around, savasana, head to the front of your mat, feet to the back of your mat. We are on the floor for the rest of class, and I am adjusting my camera angle accordingly. We Bring your heels together, let your toes fall open. Bring your arms down by your sides, palms face the ceiling, eyes open, mouth closed, breathing normal. Take an inhale to your nose and then exhale to your nose. Many people, myself included, believe that savasana is the most important posture that we practice in yoga. And it, um, from an outsider's perspective, 
might look deceptively easy, but if you've ever tried to hold still like this, you know that the mind can play some funny tricks on you, right? So through yoga, we're not just learning how to move, how to balance. We're not just strengthening and stretching. We're also intentionally practicing stillness, which is pretty radical in a culture that encourages us to constantly be going, going, going. If stillness is difficult for you, it's difficult for me too. This is not my strong suit. Um, and that's why I find it so important to practice just a little bit of stillness every day. Pavana Muktasana, when you're moving pose, bend your right leg up, interlock your 10 fingers, grab your right shin, nice tight white knuckle grip, pull your knee out to the right, down towards your shoulder, avoid your rib cage, keep your left leg on the floor. Change, right leg down, bend your left leg up, interlock your 10 fingers below your left shin, left shin knee, pull your knee out to the left, down towards your shoulder. If your right calf muscle is not touching the floor, you're welcome to flex your right toes back to your face to anchor right side body down change. Left leg down, both legs lift up. Grab your elbows each other. Give yourself a big hug for coming to class today. Keep your head on the floor. Look down the center line of your body. Hug your thighs in towards your abdomen. Squeeze knees together. Eventually or in the future when the bone joint skeletal system has improved, the whole spine from coccyx to the neck will be flat on the floor. Change. Arms down and eyes open. So through yoga, we learn a little bit of Jedi mind tricks, right? Learning how to control the mind rather than having the mind control us. Second set, bend your right leg up, switch the grip, other thumb pinky finger on top, pull your knee out and down, push the pads of your fingers into the backs of your hands to strengthen your grip, pull down harder, opening the hip capsule. Change, right leg down, left leg up, pull your knee out and down. So this posture is good for grip strength. It's a good hip opener. It's also good for digestion. It is called wind removing pose for a reason. And we purposely do it before lying on our stomach to remove gas bubbles from the stomach. Change, left leg down, both legs lift up, grab your elbows, each other. Um, if you can't grab your elbows, remember that you can place your hands on your shins. You can interlace your fingers. You can grab wrists or forearms. If it's easy to grab your elbows, palm your elbows. So in every posture, you can always get a little bit deeper or ease up a little bit. There's degrees and phases and steps to every posture and there's room at the table for everyone. Change, arms down and eyes open. Next, we do a straight leg sit up. If you have any concerns about your back, skip the sit up, roll off to the side, meet on your abdomen. Otherwise, legs together, arms over your head, tuck your chin to your chest, suck your stomach in, sit up. Exhale, grab your big toes. Exhale, elbows to floor, forehead to knees. Great, okay, everybody turn. Lie on your abdomen for this fine strengthening series, starting with Cobra Bhujangasana. Place your hands flat on the floor below your shoulders so your elbows point up. Zip up your legs like a cobra's tail. Lock your legs, look up and lift. Stretch your upper body off the floor. Beautiful, use your back strength. Come up halfway only, so elbows stay bent. Belly button is on the floor, but try to get your um, ribs off the floor. Where are your shoulders in relationship to your ears? Can you roll your shoulders back and down and keep your neck long? Lock your legs, squeeze your butt, push your feet, hips and hands flat on the floor. Look up, chin up, chest up, stretch up, breathe up, change, slowly lower down, look to your right, left ear on your mat, arms down, palms face the ceiling, toes together, heels fall open. I apologize, I feel like maybe my internet is a little bit spotty today, so I apologize if I've been breaking up a little bit. So maybe that's just in my head. Second step, bring your chin forward, place your hands flat on the floor, below your shoulders so your elbows point up like grasshopper wings, zip up your legs, lock your legs, look up and lift. So sometimes in this posture, people will hover their hands above the floor. Other times they'll try to straighten the arms. We're looking for an in-between. The hands are pressing into the floor a little bit, but it's truly your back muscles that are doing the work here. Lock your legs, squeeze your butt, push your feet, hips and hands flat into the floor, lift your chest up. Good, change, lower down. Look to your left right here on your mat, arms down, heels open. Everybody's favorite, locust shalabhasana, chin forward, arm straight position, rotate your arms, palms face the floor. Option to keep your arms out to the side or bring your arms underneath you. One day pinky fingers touch, pinky fingers touch, palms face the floor, eyes open, look forward, chin on your mat, lock your right leg, point your right toes and lift your right leg up to a 45 degree angle, half of 90. See the foot come directly over the top of your head, lock your leg, lift it up. 
change right leg down lock your left leg point your left toes lift your left leg up right leg is relaxed left leg should be solid concrete one piece lamp post unbroken you have no knee change left leg down one leg is practiced for two legs here we go loka shalabhasana chin in mouth down bring your arms a little closer underneath you spread your fingers wide Zip up your legs, toes, heels, touch, lock your legs, squeeze your butt, point your toes, roll forward, and lift both legs up. Come up. Everybody come up. You can do it. Struggle a little harder. Don't give up. Mouth down, shoulders down, squeeze your butt, lock your legs, lift your thighs up, change, lower down, take your arms out, look to your right, left ear on your mat. So that posture is called locust, like a swarm of locusts. There are many different types of locust pose variations throughout different schools of yoga. I think 26 and 2 yoga version of locust is both the most difficult and the safest for beginners because when we have our palms face down with our arms straight we protect the shoulders even if we don't go up as high into the posture form before death second section forward arm straight position rotate your arms palms face the floor option to keep your arms out to the side bring your arms underneath you so sometimes we say the right way is the hard way lock your right leg point your right toes lift your right leg up maybe you've heard the saying like um, the shortcut is not taking the shortcut lock your right leg lift it up change right leg down relax right leg lock left leg point left toes lift left leg up so if we cheat a little bit to get deeper into the posture uh, it ends up hurting us in the long run and you have to go back and adjust some stuff in the body right so lock your leg lift it up change left leg down third part tuck your chin and mouth down bring your arms a little closer but hands never over Relax, spread your fingers wide, zip up your legs, lock your legs, point your toes, roll forward, lift both legs up, knees, feet together. You can do it. Push your hands back, press your shoulders down, lock your legs, point your toes, lift your thighs up, change, lower down, take your arms out, releasing the tourniquet effect. Look to the left, right ear on your mat, get a nice rush of blood through the shoulders, elbows, wrists, and fingers. Purna Shalabhasana, full locust, chin forward, arms out to the side like airplane wings, zip up your legs like a cobra's tail, toes and heels touch, lock your legs, squeeze your butt, point your toes, look up and lift arms, body, head, legs, everything lifts off the floor, just your hip bones on the floor, the rest of your body's in the air. Look up to the ceiling where eyes go, body will know to follow. Reach your arms apart, keep your knees, feet together, lock your legs, squeeze your butt, point your toes, thighs up, chin up, chest up, arms up, arms back, come up a little higher at the end really working on back strength good change lower down tuck in your wings look to your right left ear on your mat you know in the gym there's like leg day right arm day butt day but in yoga every day is back day every day we're working on the spine second set chin forward arms out to the side perpendicular to the body knees feet together lock your legs point your toes look up and lift so we're lifting the lower and upper body off the floor at the same time you are using your own body weight here to strengthen all of the muscles that surround your back so good for your posture so good for strengthening the spine keep the neck long shoulders soft really opening through the chest and shoulders look up come up a little higher at the end good change lower down with control never collapsing tuck in your wings up to your left right here on your mat Eyes open, mouth closed, inhale through the nose, exhale through the nose. Dhanarasana floor bow. Chin forward, bend your legs, grab your feet from the outside, two inches below the toes, thumbs with your index fingers. Start with your knees, feet close together. Point your toes, squeeze your butt, look up towards the ceiling and start to kick into your hands. You've got it, continuously keep kicking without stopping, without intermission. Roll forward once, freeze between your ribs and your hips, hold still. Do little sips of air in and out through the nose. Point your toes, squeeze your tush, keep your neck long, lift from your heart space, get your thighs off the floor. Kick, kick, kick. Good, change, lower down. Look to your right, left ear on your mat, eyes open, mouth closed, inhale, exhale, always through the nose. Second set, chin forward, bend your legs, grab your feet from the outside, just below the toes, start with knees, feet close together, squeeze your tush, point your toes, look up and kick. You're kicking in two directions. You're kicking back and you're kicking up. Kick from the glutes, kick from the hamstrings, kick from the calves, point your toes. Continuously keep kicking without stopping, without an emission. Towards the end, start the kick up more than you're kicking back. Look up, kick, 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 kick. Change, lower down. Look to your left. Let that one go. 
Okay, bring your chin forward, put your hands on the floor, push up, come to the top of your mat. I'm gonna show you from the side. Fixed firm Supta Vajrasana. Open your knees and feet. Feet should be wider than your butt. Start to sink your hips down. You can keep your hands in front of you, beside you, or behind you the whole time until one day you can sit down between your heels. If you can sit between your heels and you're not in pain, put your hands on your feet, bend your right elbow down, left elbow down. Knees never come off the floor. Drop your head back, head to floor, tuck your chin in, neck, shoulders on the floor, arms over your head, grab your elbows, each other, and hold. What I just described in 10 seconds takes some people 10 years, and that is okay. Um, yoga is truly about the process not the destination. So it does not matter how deep you go into any of these postures. It matters about the integrity of what you're doing on the way there, that you're listening to your body, honoring your limits, right? Maybe pushing yourself just a little bit. Change, put your hands on your feet, press yourself up, head up last, turn around, Savasana. So also in yoga, we're learning, you know, when to push harder and when to ease up. And there's a, there's a quote that I like that's like, you know, you, in yoga, you can mess with God. You can mess with your teacher. You can mess with the IRS, very appropriate this time of year, but you cannot mess with your knees, right? So especially any posture that's working into knee tightness, that is not a part of your body that you wanna like push through. They are not malleable joints. A little bit goes a long way. Legs together, arms over your head, chin to chest, sit up. Doesn't mean you can't do the posture, just means you don't have to go all the way into it. Knees, feet together, hips on your heels, open your feet, sit down between your heels. Eventually knees will touch, but at first your knees can be super wide open and that's okay too. Put your palms on your soles, only if it feels good. Right elbow down, left elbow down, head to floor, tuck your chin in, neck, shoulders on the floor, arms overhead, grab your elbows, each other and hold. Inhale through the nose and exhale through the nose, sink a little deeper. change. Put your hands on your feet, press yourself up, head up last, turn around, savasana, as you release the tourniquet effect from the lower body, and as you lie down on your back, you get a nice rush of blood through your hips, your knees, your ankles, your toes. Sometimes the release from a posture is as therapeutic as the posture itself. Legs together, arms over your head, chin to chest, sit up. Great, turn, come to the back of your mat. I'm going to show you from the side. Half tortoise, Ardha Karmasana, knees, feet together, hips on your heels. Can also start by standing on your shins. Arms up, palms together, cross your thumbs. Chin away from your chest, stretch up, fold forward. Go down with a flat back. You're welcome to put your hands on the floor and walk yourself in. Then bring your palms together in prayer, only the thumbs cross. Tilt your pinky fingers down. Try to get elbows and wrists off the floor. Active shoulders here. Yes, Matt, you've got it. Forehead to floor, little baby fingers to floor. Yes, reach your arms forward, sink your hips down. Re-energize, reorganize, revitalize, stretch. Change, come on up with a scoop in your chest. You can also push the floor away from you, arms down, turn around, savasana. Remember that you're always welcome to skip sit-ups by rolling off to the side. The sit-ups, like everything else we do are optional. The sit-ups, like everything else we do, are modifiable, right? You could always kind of roll yourself up, but eventually you're really working on core strength every time. Legs together, arms over your head, chin to chest, sit up. Keep your arms with your ears. <sighs> Great, turn, come to the back of your mat, second set. Half tortoise, knees, feet together, hips on your heels, arms up. Palms together, cross your thumbs, stretch up, look forward, go down. How long can you look forward? Can you touch your forehead to your to the floor first and then your little fingers. Reach your arms forward, sink your hips down, stretch, stretch, stretch. Change, come on up, biceps with your stomach in. Very nice, arms down, turn around, savasana. Next is our deepest back bend, followed by our deepest forward curl. This is like the peak or the summit of the series. Legs together, arms over your head, chin to chest, sit up. Good, turn, come to the top of your mat for Camel Vistrasana, our deepest back bend. Stand on your knees, six inches between your knees and feet. Put your hands on your lower back. Thumbs outside, fingers down to the floor. Simply standing on your knees with your hands on your back can be quite an opener for the hip, shoulders, and chest. 
Option to stay here or with your mouth closed, eyes open, look up towards the ceiling, lift your nose and chin, and if it feels good, relax your head back. Option to stay here or keep your hands on your back, go back halfway, freeze in the middle. Option to stay here with your hands on your back or right hand down, grab your right heel, left hand down, grab your left heel, thumbs outside, fingers inside, full palm grip on your heels. If you can't grab your heels yet, keep your hands on your lower back for support. Push your hips forward, lift your chest up, relax your head back. If you're grabbing your heels, place your hands back on the lower spine and then change. Press yourself up without twisting the spine. Head up last, stretch up, sit down, turn around, savasana. Sometimes that posture elicits an involuntary nervous response that can come up as dizziness, nausea. It can come up as um, grief or anger or um, like the urge to laugh. Um, if you're experiencing any of that, there's nothing wrong with you. Nobody's told you this yet today. There's nothing wrong with you. Uh, but there's also nothing wrong with you doing second set. So let's do it. Legs together, arms over your head, tuck your chin to your chest, sit up. Good, turn, come to the top of your mat. Um, you're always welcome to roll up your knees. So there's extra padding under your knees or your ankles or any other tight lower body joint. Put your hands on your lower back. Try to bring elbows close together. Press your hips forward, lift your chest, relax your head back. Go back halfway, freeze in the middle. Right hand down, grab your right heel. Left hand down, grab your left heel. Doesn't matter if you grab your heels. Matters about the integrity of the posture, the process going in and out of it. Push your hips forward, lift your chest up, drop your head back. You're healing the spine through compression. You're releasing tension from the, from the front of the body through extension. You can always keep your hands on your back if you get a better back bend that way. Change, put your hands on your back, press yourself up, head up last, stretch up, sit down, turn around, savasana. Breathe. Reconnect to the breath especially after such a big heart opener. You're doing great. Yes, you. Legs together, arms over your head, chin to chest, sit up. Good. Are you one of those people where when like a teacher is like, you're doing great, you're like, they're not talking to me. We can work on that. Knees, feet together, hips on your heels, grab your heels from the outside, thumbs outside, fingers inside. We're going to flip it and reverse it with our deepest forward curl, stretch up, tuck your chin to your chest, go down. Forehead to knees, top of head to floor. Option to stay here with your hips on your heels or pull on your heels. Don't lose the grip, lift your hips up. If there's a gap between your knees and head, you can walk your knees up one by one, but head stays in place. Squeeze your heels together, press your hips forward, lock your arms, lift your shoulders, suck your stomach in, round your spine. Good, bring your hips back down to your heels. Change, slowly uncurl so that your head comes up last. Very nice, turn around, Savasana, head to the front of your mat, feet to the back of your mat, breathe. Legs together, arms over your head, chin to chest, sit up. Good, turn, come to the middle of your mat, knees, feet together, hips on your heels, grab your heels from the outside, stretch up tall, tuck your chin to your chest and go down, stomach in. Stomach in, eyes open, stomach in. Forehead to knees, top of head to floor. Option to stay here or pull on your heels. Don't lose the grip, lift your hips up. If there's a gap between your knees and head, you can walk your knees up one by one, but head stays in place. Lock your arms, lift your shoulders, squeeze your heels together, roll forward, keep your feet on the floor. Bring your hips down, change, slowly uncurl, head up last, very nice. Turn around, Savasana. I have a baby Yoda on my tank top and I have to tell you there's no greater joy than being in that posture and seeing an upside down baby Yoda smiling back at you. Um, do things in yoga that bring you joy, whether it's like having flowers around or like a pretty yoga mat or a, you know, a baby Yoda tank top, right? You can invite joy into your practice. It does not have to be so serious. Legs together, arms over your head. Why so serious? Tuck your chin to your chest, sit up. <sighs> Great, we're gonna do one set of head to knee with stretching. Right leg out, left leg in, two legs make an L, a 90 degree angle. Inhale your arms over your head, big stretch up. Exhale, turn to your right, tuck your chin to your chest, suck your stomach in, touch your forehead and knee together. You are welcome to bend your right leg 
to touch your knee and head together. You can bring your right heel all the way in towards your hip if it brings your knee and head closer together, getting that range of motion in the body. Change, arms up, left leg out, pardon me, yeah, left leg out, right leg in, big stretch up. Turn to your left, chin to chest again. You are welcome to bend your left leg to bring your knee and head together. Interlock your chin fingers up to the webbing under the ball of your left foot, flex your toes back. If it's easy to touch your forehead and knee together with a bent leg, start to slide your heel forward, eventually leg straight, or even lock. Heel off the floor, elbows down, roll into the right. Change, arms up, both legs out in front of you. If you're skipping sit up, stay here. Otherwise, lay down and sit up. Paschimottanasana stretching, I will show you from the side. Bend your knees, hook onto your big toes with peace sign, fingers, thumbs on top, scoot your butt back, right, left, right, left, 10 to 15 times. Lift your chin and chest, arch your spine. Knees can stay bent if it helps you keep a flat back. If your legs are straight, stick your butt out even more, lock your legs, pop up your chest, inhale, stretch up. Exhale, stomach in, fold. Elbows down, stomach to thighs, pull. Chest to knees, stretch. One day, toes and head touch. Stretch forward, hips back. Change, stay seated, spine twist. You are welcome to keep your left leg straight and cross your right heel over your left knee. You can also bend your left leg. Right hand, close behind you like a second spine. Left arm, up and over, grab your left knee with your left hand. You can also grab your yoga mat. Inhale, stretch up. Ooh, this feels good today. Exhale, pull your abdomen and look over right shoulder twist. Notice if you're leaning way back, walk your hand in closer behind you. Option to keep your hand on the floor for balance or reach behind you. Try to catch your left thigh with your right hand for a bind. Inhale, lengthen up. Exhale, look back, twist, twist, twist. Good, change, unwind, swap out your legs, bend your right leg on the floor, touch left heel to right knee, left hand close behind you, right arm up, bend over, grab right knee with right hand. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, look back, twist. You can keep your hand behind you or reach behind you. Grab your right thigh with your left hand. Evenly distribute your body weight on both sit bones so you're not leaning back or to one side. Drop the shoulders, lift the chest, keep your eyes open, engage your abdominal wall. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, look back, twist and twist and twist. Good, change, unwind, turn around, savasana. We begin this sequence with a breathing exercise, exhaling through the mouth. And we in class full circle with another breathing exercise, exhaling to the mouth, Kapalati breathing. Legs together, arms over your head, chin to chest, sit up. Good, Kapalati breathing, good for lungs, digestion, abdominal wall, good for pushing anything out that you just wanna let go of. You can sit knees, feet together, hips on your heels, hands on your thighs. If you can't sit on your heels or it just hurts, don't do it. Sit on your butt, crisscross applesauce. Every once in a while, try to sit on your feet as you get that range of motion in the ankles. You're gonna exhale through your mouth as you pull your abdomen in. So it'll just look like baby Yoda is sneezing a bunch of times. When the stomach relaxes, the lungs automatically take in air. Lick your lips, swallow a couple times, concentrate, meditate. Don't forget to have fun. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. If you're sitting crisscross applesauce, switch up the leg, other leg on top. Lock your arms, lift your chest, drop your shoulders, sit up as tall as possible, look straight ahead and begin. Five, four, three, two, one. Good for you. Honor yourself. Give yourself a hug. High five. Pat on the back. Turn around. Relax. Final savasana. Close your eyes. Open your arms and legs as much as you'd like. And take a nice, easy breath. In through the nose. Feel the body rise. Out through the nose. Feel the body fall. Breathe in. Empty out. You are so very alive and you are so very loved.